Tensions remain high outside India's capital following communal clashes this week. Incidents of violence, arson and attempted vandalism have been reported overnight. Well, the government has warned of a massive spike in misinformation on social media leading up to this week's clashes. Authorities say content spread online was hateful and have begun investigating certain social media accounts. Despite this, officials relaxed an internet ban in the region for three hours this afternoon. Violence that broke out in Haryana state on Monday has spilled over to surrounding areas. Six people have been killed and more than 100 people have been arrested. Well, this is speak to Ishan Gaghi joins us live from New Delhi. Ishan, what is being done to, well, they are probing this, they're documenting this, but what else is being done to tackle the spread of misinformation. Well, misinformation has certainly emerged as one of the major issues for the government, not only around this crisis, but also around other communal uh, tensions that have emerged in India over the past few months and years. Now, what the government is doing at the state level, they have constituted a three-member committee that's going to scour through social media sites and go through hundreds of, uh, if not thousands, of social media posts, looking particularly at links between any social media posts and what happens has happened in New Haryana, uh, the incident that has so far cost at least six lives. Uh, we're also hearing reports that the federal government is also launching a special investigation looking into social media and its usage uh, uh, during uh, this uh, vi uh, activities of violence. Uh, there have been reports saying that the Haryana police has already uh, launched police complaints, uh, taking cognizance of the fact that there might be people out there who were involved in this. Uh, so it's an act of not a complaint being registered by the police, but police registering the complaint themselves in a bid to go out and find those people. Analysts have said that social media and the use of it has become a major issue for law enforcement agents. We have seen the Indian government ask social media companies, particularly Twitter, uh, uh, asking them to take down hateful content online. And now uh, initial research by some of the media organizations in India is saying that uh, in, the past, in the past two weeks before the violence spread out in Haryana, there was a massive uptick of hateful content, especially between the two communities in the Haryana area. So the police are now investigating it, and they have said the perpetrators who are responsible for this violence will will be punished very strictly. Ocean, of course, managing online content, now that is a longer term problem, but for what's happening on the ground, we just heard uh, about 100 arrests so far. Is the situation brought back? Has it been brought back under control? In the district of Nu, it has essentially been converted into a fortress. We are seeing nearly unprecedented deployment of security personnel in the area. 1,000 uh, units of security personnel have been asked to be stationed there permanently. And apart from that, the state officials are also bringing in uh, forces from nearby districts as well in an attempt to make sure that the communal tensions do not flare any further uh, outside uh, the district of Nu. So within that district, the situation has started to come back to normal to some degree, which is why we saw on a Thursday the internet services being resumed for three hours, which is a sign that things might be coming back to normal. However, outside New District, especially in the district of Gurugram, which is just bordering the capital, New Delhi, uh, things still uh, appear to be a bit tense. During the daytime, uh, there aren't many cases of violence and arson being reported, but after nighttime, uh, we we are still seeing some incidences. On Wednesday night, uh, some small shops owned uh, by uh, uh, people of lower income groups, they were torched. A mosque was also uh, 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 attacked. And we are seeing these kinds of incidences happening during the night. But the police there say that they are, uh, they've got the situation under control. And they are also, again, deploying massive forces around uh, Gurgaon as well. So things still remain a bit tense around Delhi. Uh, but officials are saying that they're doing everything they can to bring the situation under control. Oh, thanks for that. Urshan Garg reporting live from New Delhi.